Hello everybody, welcome back to another 7-Eleven video. Today we are trying out entire selection of bentos. Welcome back guys, I'm Shinichi. I'm Satoshi. And I'm super excited because I personally never buy bentos from 7-Eleven. For some reason, we, we always get salads, we get breads, we get onigiri, we get the sandwiches, we get the noodles, we get the we, we get everything else except for the bentos. And so I'm really, really excited. Me too. The first bento is shumai bento. It's 462 yen. On this particular bento, although you can warm it up, it says this bento can be enjoyed at room temperature and it's still delicious. And so I, yeah, I know. So I'm really, really excited to try it mm -hmm. out at room temperature. In this bento box, there are five pieces of shumai. Mm, looks delicious. Mm. And this also comes with a packet of Japanese mustard and soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Japanese mustard because this is Japanese shumai. And also they have piece of karaage, omelette, fish cake, pickled vegetables, potato salad, and simmered bamboo shoot. And the rice is topped with black sesame seeds and umeboshi pickled plum. Typical of Japanese bentos, you have a variety of mm -hmm. side dishes mm -hmm. along with the main thing, mm -hmm. which is the shumai. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's try the shumai, shall we? Itadakimasu. I am so hungry. It's a room temperature, mm -hmm. but it has a good taste. Mm -hmm. It mm. does. It's very, very typical Japanese shumai mm -hmm. taste though. Mm -hmm. I think the difference is that Japanese shumai is not as oily and it's not as juicy, which is not neither a bad or a good thing. It's just the way Japanese shumai is. But it has good pork taste. Mm -hmm. It does, it does. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have a bite of rice because I wanna see how the 7-Eleven bento rice is. Because ah. I know their onigiri rice is ah. perfect. Mm -hmm. You know? Mmm. Mm, rice is good. Mm. Rice is so good. Mm. And the black sesame seeds give it such a nice flavor. Toasty sesame seed flavor. Mm. How is the bamboo shoot? Try it. Mm. It's well simmered soy sauce based mm. flavor. Mm. How about this potato salad? A very small portion of potato salad. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have a bite of the karage, mm. which is Japanese fried chicken. Mm. It's like melting. Right? <laughs> That's good. Mm -hmm. And it still retain the te potato texture. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know this karage? Mm -hmm. You know, because lo I, I don't particularly like cold karage fried chicken. This is good. I really? think this is made Even it's cold. to be eaten cold. The next one is a karage bento. This is 399 yen, which is approximately $3.50 in US dollars. And this is a Japanese fried chicken. And, and there are two flavors of Japanese fried chicken in here. One is salt and the other one is spice. Mm -hmm. There's some pickled vegetables. Once again, I think it's radish. It's a different color though. And this rice, once again, is topped off with some black sesame seeds. Mm -hmm. uh, many Japanese people love karaage. Mm. Mm. Yep, yep. Everybody, from adults to kids, everyone loves Japanese fried chicken. But this bento is very simple, just kara again rice. So I don't know which one this is, whether this is the salt one or the spice one, but mm -hmm. I think it's the salted one. I think so too. Okay, is that the salted one I you think? think? So. All right, daikimasu. Mm. Mm, this is definitely mm. the salt mm. one mm. because it tastes simple. Mm. It's not too salty. It's like lightly seasoned fried chicken, seasoned with just salt. That's what that's what it's like. This is cold, but it has a good umami, still good umami. It does. And once again, the rice is perfectly cooked. I don't know what it is about 7-Eleven rice. I think 7-Eleven really knows how to cook rice. So this is the karaage with the spice flavor. You know what? The taste is kind of similar. I take it back. Now, now the taste is coming to me. It's actually a little bit spicy. There is a slight kick to it. The seasoning is kind of like a subtle version of KFC. It kind of reminds of KFC, but more subtle and a little bit more refined. The third one is Okonomi Makunochi Bento. Makunochi Bento is consists of a variety of dishes and rice in one box. This Makunochi Bento consists of Saba, Croquette, Egg Omelette, Hamburg, and this is Karaage Chicken, and some other stuff. I noticed that this rice has different topping. It's Akashiso Furikake. Basically, it's Yukari. 
there's this thing that you, um, they sell at the supermarkets. It's called Yukari. It looks exactly like it. And if you guys want to see another supermarket video, please write that down in the comments below and I will gather more ingredients for you guys. Did you know that Makudochi bento is one of my favorite types of Japanese bentos? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, because you can eat a variety of dishes. Yeah, I don't like to eat just one type of food. I kind of get bored. I know that you prefer like a meaty, hearty bento, Yakiniku right? Bento. Yakiniku bento. <laughs> you like tonkatsu bento. Tonkatsu bento. For, for some reason, I like this makunoji bento because there's so many different tastes and mm. textures. Love it, love it, love it. And with that being said, I'm going to start off with the fish, the saba, mm. saba. which is mackerel. I love fish. I love any type of fish. That's another reason why I like makunoji bento. I see, I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Takimasu. Mm. That is good saba. Really? Very good. It's, it's not oh. dry. Mm. It's mm. good taste. It's not fishy. Mm. 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 Once again, gotta have some of that rice. How's that yukari taste? Mm. This rice has a different texture from oh. the other two bento. It's a little more sticky. Sticky. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I think with most makunoji bentos, the rice is a little bit more sticky. I don't know why. Oh, that topping is so delicious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It has a taste of shiso. It's mm -hmm. so good. So I want to eat croquette. Okay. I'm going to have this thing right here, which we didn't explain because we don't know how to explain. This one is like a deep fried, uh, rolled up, um, maybe pork, pork or some kind of meat, mm -hmm. maybe chicken. And there's green beans and there's carrots in here. Mm. Nice mm. potato taste. Mm. Mm. A little bit sweet croquette. Mmm, mm. so good. And you know what? Mm. It still retains the crispiness, the outside, for some reason. This bento is cold, but the, the batter is still kind of crispy. Oh. Mm. And I like this sauce taste. The tonkatsu sauce <laughs> tonkatsu taste. Sauce taste. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna have a bite of the hamburg, the Japanese ground beef patty. And I feel like this is more like... Is this hamburg or is this tsukune? Mmm. Oh, mm. I like this mm. burger patty. Mm. This is not like a American burger patty. I like this tare sauce. Me too. The soy sauce based, sweetened, sweetened soy sauce. Mm. Yep, yep. And here it's kiriboshi daikon. It's dried radish, carrot. It's simmered in sweet soy sauce. Yes, this is another typical Japanese side mm -hmm. dish. Oh, it's good. My mother's one's better. Mm. So, and I'm going to eat sausage. And I'm gonna have a bite of the karage because I love karage. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Typical mm -hmm. Japanese sausage. Mm -hmm. But I think it's better than the cheap one. It has more meaty flavor and nice saltiness. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this sausage has snap. Parito. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I gotta have a bite of the karoke. I love croquettes, Japanese croquettes. Mmm. 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 I like it. Nice potato texture, has little bits of ground beef inside, delicious! Next one we have something called Wahu Kinoko Sauce no Hamburg Bento, 462 yen. Not a bad price for a bento. This is a hamburger patty bento with a Japanese mushroom sauce. That's what it means. My favorite type. <laughs> Your favorite type? <laughs> it's it's a bento. meaty, hearty type of bento. <laughs> And this one, you can definitely see some mushrooms on the top of the, mm -hmm. the patty. The patty is actually quite a big patty. It comes with something that looks like scrambled egg. I have no idea what that is. We have some hijiki here, mm -hmm. which is uh, seaweed. And it is simmered with some carrots and also some edamame. And the rice this time, I think that's parsley. This streak of green is parsley. Okay. Itadakimasu. Mm. Oh, mm. that is good. Mmm! My favorite type of Japanese hamburger steak. <laughs> this is really mm. good hamburger. Mm. Mm. This hamburger patty has a good umami. Not only meat, it has another another flavor. Scrambled egg? Sweet. Mm. It is scrambled egg, but this is more like iritamago. It's kind of like a sweet scrambled egg. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not dry, mm -hmm. a little bit liquidy. And the best way to eat this egg is with the rice. <laughs> right on top of the rice. And that's what, that's what you should do, Satoshi, right now. Can you do it with me? Okay. Because this is something my mother used to make me when I was a kid. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. you see, it's good with the rice, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was wondering why they would have scrambled eggs in here. But this makes a lot of sense. You know, I like this type of egg so much. 
I could just have that and rice and I'd be happy. I don't need anything else. The next one is Wafu Makunochi Bento. The price is 463 yen. I don't know why they are saying Wafu Japanese style bento because they have another kind of Makunochi bento. So they have to differentiate it from the, the another Makunochi bento. So yeah. they named the Japanese style Wafu Makunochi bento. Right, and plus if you look at the ingredients, it's completely Japanese. Mm -hmm. There's nothing Western in here. Mm -hmm. Like the first Makunochi bento we had, there were there, there was um, sausage mm -hmm. and there was also hamburger. Mm -hmm. So it's it's totally different. This Makunochi bento consists of teriyaki chicken, shrimp tempura, simmered vegetables and and grilled salmon, egg omelette, kimpira kimpira gobo, konyaku and sweet potato, and a white rice topped with white sesame seeds and umeboshi pickled plum. Mmm, a lot of yummy goodies in this one. A lot of my favorites in this mm -hmm. one. Mm, I love buying bentos like this and taking it to the park. And if it's a beautiful day, and I, I could just sit in the park all alone. I actually prefer to go alone so I don't have to share with anyone. So first, we're gonna start off with the grilled chicken. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. Mm. This chicken is definitely Japanese in taste. Mm. It, it, it's, it's grilled with a little bit of soy sauce. It's not very sweet, so it's not like chicken teriyaki. It's actually more subtle than chicken teriyaki. The chicken flavor is stronger than the sauce. That's true, mm. that's true. Which is um, very typical of Japanese mm. cooking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Next, we're going for the shrimp tempura. Tempura. Mm. 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 The butter is not the sakuto because it is room temperature, but it has a nice flavor. Nice shrimp flavor. Yes, usually shrimp tempura in these kind of bentos, mm -hmm. it's never crispy. They actually don't make it crispy. The batter is different because it works better in room temperature bentos. All right, shake, grilled salmon. Mm -hmm. You always gotta have grilled salmon in a traditional maru, makunochi bento. I keep saying marunochi. <laughs> <laughs> marunochi is the name of a place in Tokyo. It is. Near Tokyo Station. It is. Oh, mm. that's nice. Mm. 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 Not too salty. This one is kind of sweet. It's it, it's only lightly salted, so it lets the flavor of the mm. salmon shine. Mm. Okay. Simmer the vegetables. Simmer vegetables. And it has shiitake, carrot, and something called gammo. And gammo is made with tofu, isn't it? Yeah. It's like to it's a it's a mixture of tofu and vegetables. Oh, that looks juicy. Mmm. Mm. Oh, it's super juicy. <laughs> All that flavor of the dashi. Mm. Mm. It absorbs a very good dashi flavor. Mm. Mm. That is delicious. Mm. And kimpira gobo. Kimpira gobo. Which is burdock and carrots mm -hmm. sauteed with, once again, like a sweet, savory soy sauce. Mm. Can you guys feel mm. the crunch? Mm. 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 So I love it because everything tastes fresh for some reason. Even though it's the bento. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Mm. We are going to skip the tamagoyaki right now because we're getting a little full and we got more bentos to cover. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is simply steamed sweet potatoes. So I think I think they prepared this bento very very well, mm. almost mm. like a restaurant. Mm. This bento is a little bit subtle for me. Mm. Yeah, I thought so. Which is why you usually choose things like tonkatsu or. <laughs> hamburger or yakiniku, which is like super, super intense in taste. Mm -hmm. Next, we have garlic chicken bento. This is 500 yen. This is the most expensive one out of everything we chose today. And I'm very curious to try this one out. Mm. I've never tried this one. The smell is awesome. It, garlic yeah, smell. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit like kind of like strong in garlic <laughs> garlic smell mm. to be honest with you i love garlic yeah and this one comes with a pat of butter mm. so after you warm it up it actually melts onto mm. the chicken pieces it has a side of spaghetti in ketchup this is very typical of yoshoku dishes and there's one piece of potato with some corn and some sliced onions and the rice once again is topped off with some parsley oh it smells amazing! Is it soy sauce, it's like garlic sauce? Soy sauce, garlic, and butter. Imagine that. Soy oh. sauce, garlic, and butter. Oh. That's such a good combination. Mmm! -hmm. Mmm! -hmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh! Preja in my mouth. <laughs> this. Preja in my mouth. This is something most people will love. Mm. This is really good. This is not subtle in any way. Super garlicky, super buttery. 
and has like a nice teriyaki flavor. Mm. I have a piece of corn. Mm. Recently, I fallen in love with corn all over again because we reviewed the 7-Eleven bread and I fell in with the cornbread. <laughs> so, mayonnaise and cornbread. Mm, mayonnaise and cornbread. That was so good. If you guys didn't see that video, please watch it. Click right up there. Oh, that cornbread. I fell in love with it. <laughs> the last one. It is Odashi de Taita Torigomoku Gohan no Makunochi Bento. What should I say in English? Oh, okay. Basically, this is a Makunochi Bento, that typical variety bento made with mixed rice. This is a special rice. It's called Gomoku Gohan, which usually has vegetables. This one has uh, burdock, carrots, and also chicken. And the whole thing is cooked in dashi. This one has fish. This one has that same deep fried thing. It has a tamagaki, it has nikujaga, which is Japanese meat and potatoes. It has that hijiki with the soybeans. It has kimpira gobo. It has that piece of sweet potato, but this one looks like it's some sauce on it. And then if you look at the rice carefully, it's a different color. This is mixed rice, the gomoku gohan that we talked about. This has burdock, carrots, and chicken. So this one looks like a super flavorful, Bento with a lot of different tastes and textures. I am so happy. I want to eat from the rice. Yes, let's this, do that. In this bento. That's a great idea. Because I feel like maybe this is what makes it special. It's mm -hmm. the rice, mm -hmm. huh? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat some of the rice with uh, the toppings right on top. Okay, I'm gonna eat with this rice with chicken. Mmm. Oh yes, baby. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. You can taste the chicken inside the rice. The chicken flavor is in infused inside the rice. I see. <laughs> While Satoshi is still trying to pick up his food, <laughs> I'll have a bite of the fish. I think this is saba. Mmm. Mmm. Nice rice. Mmm. Isn't that? Mmm. And the saba is good. Just as good as the saba in the other bento. Mmm. Nice, juicy, mm. not dry. A little bit on the oily side, but that's good. Mm. I like this burnt flavor. It's good, isn't mm. it? Now I am curious to try the nikujaga. We made nikujaga on our channel because it's one of the most basic traditional Japanese dishes. You know, a lot of people, they message me asking, what shall I make my mother who misses Japanese food? You know, people who moved to America or Europe. What I say is, why don't you make them nikujaga? Because nikujaga is something that every household makes. A long, long time ago, they said, if you wanted to be a good wife, you have to know how to make nikujaga. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. how important this is mm -hmm. in the Japanese culture. Mm -hmm. So this is nikujaga. Mm. You, oh, love ja you love nikujaga? I love mm. nikujaga. Love, love, love nikujaga. Once again, this is actually like a restaurant quality nikujaga. You know, the, the, the potato is not soft. It's still kind of like firm. It's subtle because homemade style nikujaga, a lot of times the, the sauce is kind of like stronger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it too subtle for you? A little bit subtle for me. I thought so. <laughs> I could tell by your face. See, I like both styles. Mm -hmm. I like both mm -hmm. styles. Mm -hmm. I like this style because you can taste the potato more. You can ac actually enjoy the flavor of the potato itself. I also like the homemade style because you can taste more of the sauce. Mm, I love everything in this bento. Mm -hmm. Tamagoyaki is good. Kimpira mm. gobo, the hijiki is kind of the same as the other bento, so I'm not gonna try it. But I do wanna take a bite of the sweet potato because this one has a nice glaze on it. Like it's a little like, glaze. Looks like a daigaku it does. Mm. It is daigaku imo. Daigaku imo. Mm. Mm. We've made daigaku imo on this channel. Check it out. My mother made it. She makes awesome daigaku imo. This is good, but my mother's daigaku imo is much better. <laughs> you know? Daigaku imo is basically deep fried pieces of sweet potato and then it's glazed in this sweet soy sauce uh, sauce. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Oh, all right, so we have come to the end. We have tried seven different bentos from 7 Eleven. It is time to choose our favorite. My favorite one that's a chicken garlic bento. <laughs> uh, I should have guessed. I would have gotten it right. Why was that your favorite? I love garlic and it has a nice garlic flavor with chicken. I love chicken 
juicy chicken,、mm-hmm. juicy chicken meat.、Mm-hmm. So nice for me. Okay. My favorite one is the last one we had. It is this makunochi bento. I mean, first of all, it's really hard, hard to beat a makunochi bento for me. And I like this one because I, I like the rice. The mixed rice infused with the dashi flavors of the chicken and the, the burdock. I love the saba. I just love the variety. This is my favorite. Well, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please press that like button and leave your comments down below. I think we have two, three, four videos left we're gonna be doing from 7 Eleven. I think we pretty much conquered the entire store. If you guys missed any of our 7 Eleven or convenience store videos, Please check our, our gigantic playlist because we did a whole bunch of them. If you have never tried Japanese bento, please do. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye. bye.